Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well and happy Cinco de Mayo. I've been trying to convince some teachers to recite our pledges for Teacher Appreciation Week. Today we have Miss Kelly. She's a wonderful pre-K uh, teacher in room 108. Please stand for the flag salute. Stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very nice. Thank you very much, Ms. Kelly. Nice seeing you. Now to recite the pledge in Spanish with Ms. Schwibert. She's a middle school teacher. Puro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América, que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Very nice. Thank you very much. We now have our student pledge. Ms. Truesdale will lead the way in English. I believe that I could be a good student. I believe that I can achieve. I believe that if I work hard, I will succeed. Therefore, I will work hard each day to do my best. I can learn, I will learn. At Conti, we believe we can achieve. Thank you, Ms. Truesdale. And now Yulia will lead us in Spanish and Bulgarian. Compromiso con nuestra escuela, Dr. Michael Conti. Yo creo que puede ser un buen estudiante. Yo creo que puedo triunfar. Yo creo que si trabajo con dedicación, yo triunfaré. Por lo tanto, cada día trabajaré con dedicación. Espero aprender, yo aprenderé. En la escuela Kanti creemos en triunfo. Now I'm going to say the Bulgarian. As we are going to move to the Bravo Chinichko. We are going to move to the Postinga. We are going to go 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 to have a great Conti day. Thank you, Yulia. You too. All right, time for Mr. Rivero's daily message. Good morning, Conti family, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day to celebrate Cinco de Mayo today we celebrate the culture and heritage of Mexico. So to all my friends and county families that are from Mexico, enjoy your day. But today is also Teacher Appreciation Day. And I would be remiss if I didn't uh, think back on some of the teachers that have inspired me over the years. My own teachers, my high school art teacher, Mrs. Reed, who I had for three years, and I credit Mrs. Reed with helping me to develop an appreciation for art and to look uh, for beauty, because beauty you find anywhere. And of course, I could never forget Ms. Palladino, who was my senior year honors English teacher, and this is a lady who uh, had us read one book every month, and she helped me to develop a love, a lifelong love for reading. And of course, I would really be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to all the PS5 teachers who inspire me every day because they are uh, a group of top notch professionals who love their craft, love their children, are committed, they're dedicated, and they always try to do their very, very best. So to all you teachers out there, whether you're a teacher or you are now as a parent being a teacher, this is your day. Happy uh, National Teacher Appreciation Day. I appreciate you. I see you. Have a great day. All right. Thank you very much. Here is our spirit week. Uh, yesterday was read and share your favorite book. I'll share a few pictures in a moment. Uh, and today is National Teacher's Day. All right. So I want to know all the children out there to make sure you reach out in some way to your teacher, to your mom, to your dad, and to say thank you, all right, and to show your appreciation. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a meditation Wednesday, Thursday will be Hawaiian Day, and then Friday we'll have a Fitness Friday. 
here are some of the uh, pictures I received. Ethan is reading uh, Worry Woos. Abriel is reading Bedtime Prayers. Oliver is reading some Bible stories. Maria submitted her book. She's reading The Warriors in the Wild. And Anne wanted to give us a sample of her reading skills. The Busy Little Squirrel. The Busy Little Squirrel. Leaves were falling, the air was getting cold. It was time for Squirrel to get ready for winter. Squeak, squeak, said Mouse. Will you nibble the pumpkin with his squirrel? Could it? He was so busy. Sweet, sweet shepherd, will you rest on the branch with us? But squirrel couldn't. She was so busy. Our crock said, Frog, will you hop on rock with us? But squirrel couldn't. She was so busy. Meow, meow, said Cat, will you roll on lay in the sun with us? But squirrel couldn't. She was so busy. Wolf, wolf, said Dog, will you run in the field with us? But squirrel couldn't. She was so busy. Hoo, 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 hoo. Called out, will you watch the moon with us? But squirrel couldn't. She was fast asleep. The end. Thank you, Anne. You're a great reader. Uh, today is National Teachers Appreciation Day. I'm sure I'll get some pictures later. Uh, but so far, Oliver sent something in to his teacher, Miss Johnson. It says, Miss Johnson, you are one of the best teachers in the world. Why? Because you are loving, caring, and kind, and you love to teach us. All right. Good job, Oliver. Very sweet. Uh, Anita shared a picture to Miss Askew, Miss Rentis. Happy Teacher's Day. I hope you like my drawing and I did draw me and Ms. Asko and Ms. Nancy and the sky and I did draw some flowers. And I did the, the grass and we, I, I think uh, we was in the park on my drawing. Great job, Anita, beautiful. And uh, when school starts, bring that picture back in and we're gonna hang it up on the bulletin board. I would now like to uh, share Ms. Sexton, our librarian, has the April Students of the Month.
All right, congratulations, students. I'm sure your parents are very proud. And thank you, Ms. Sexton, for putting that video together. Good job. All right, before we go, I have a, a spring joke today. All right. So my joke is, does February like March? No, but April, May. Get it? February, March, April, May. All right. <laughs> Have a great Tuesday. I miss you guys. Um, work hard and I'll see you tomorrow.